Now a story you'll only see here on CBS 6. The State Open of Virginia Golf Tournament is back in Central Virginia this weekend. Last half hour we introduced you to the youngest player in the tournament. Now sports director Lane Casadante introduces us to one player who is a walking encyclopedia of the game's last half century. Ball's here, you put it there. <laughs> there it is in my ear. <laughs> Dick Mast is originally from Ohio, but he got his first taste of Virginia golf in his very first professional tournament. He was paired with Richmonder Lanny Watkins in the first two rounds of the San Diego Open in 1974. And Watkins gave him a taste of the PGA Tour on the very first hole. And he's got like, 240 to a back pin, tough. And didn't even take a practice swing. You know, just unbelievable sound to this three wood, and it just hums in there like a seven iron, like this. And I went, whoa. Unlike Watkins and all of the other players in that tournament, Mast is still actively competing and will tee it up again in this year's State Open of Virginia at the age of 71. Sweetest sound in golf. Mast still has the putter that he used in that initial tournament nearly 50 years ago, but the technology of the game's equipment has allowed him to remain competitive with other golfers not even half his age. There we go. I mean, I hit the ball farther now than I did in my prime on the, on the tour. 250 was a big hit for me with a wood. That was probably tour average. And 255, it was backing up. It wasn't going to roll. Now I can smooth it 250, and if I, uh, regardless of what my son said earlier, I can carry it 270 <laughs> and go 300 on a firm fairway. That might be the best tee shot I've hit in my life right there. Mast is a walking Wikipedia of the game over the last half century. When he first started playing, the game was more about shot placement and control and less about bombing the ball as far as possible. And it was unpopular to hit it long in our day because guys that could, couldn't play. Now Nicholas did it two times around maybe and it would just be stupefying, 60 yards farther than his normal hit. Mast will sprinkle in names of the greatest players in the game throughout his stories about his career. The one he tells the most comes from the 1985 TPC Championship when he played with two of the biggest names in history. They announce us, big crowd around, five deep. And now Lee Trevino with 3,000 wins and 4,000 majors, you know, ah! <laughs> and then Greg Norman, and now with 43 million wins and... And so I would talked to the starter earlier, and he says, and now Dick Mass with five boys, five children. <laughs> and the crowd loved it. They went nuts, you know. <laughs> That's great. That attitude and a strict focus on diet, exercise, and practice have allowed Mast to remain competitive well past any usual retirement age. Yeah, I mean, obviously he hits the ball really far for someone his age. What impresses me the most is his just ability to, to grind it out when he doesn't have it um, and have a good attitude about it. Never seen him slam the trunk at the end of a round. He's able to um, accept the bad with the good. I really enjoy preparing. Preparation is what I've done all my life. So I enjoy preparing to do the best I can. Mast and his son Jacob now run Poplar Grove Golf Club in Amherst, just outside of Lynchburg. The layout is becoming one of the most talked about courses in the Commonwealth. The Masts each give lessons every day, and despite his decades of experience in the game, the elder Mast still trusts the younger with keeping his game in the best shape possible. Well, I've told him everything I tried, <laughs> and so he knows what doesn't work. So Jacob has become a good teacher. Being out here, I think it's helped his own game. I think we just uh, trust each other, that both know what we're talking about, and it's a second set of eyes, and I'm there to kind of direct him a little bit with what he's trying to do. That's a better draw there, isn't it? Despite traveling the world and playing in some of the biggest tournaments there are, the Mass still place a priority on keeping the state open as part of their yearly schedule. Well, we circle it every year. It's a highlight for sure. I mean, he didn't get a chance to compete in this when he was playing full-time on the senior tour, and um, but in the last five or six years, it's definitely been 
the first event on the calendar we look at. You know, really a tournament is a tournament. I've always said, I don't care what it is, I want to do the best I can do. My goal is to shoot in the 60s every day and get in contention and see if I can win the tournament. So there'll be some good young college players there. That, that would be fun. I'm still able, uh, if I feel good, to, to move the ball. And as long as it's like that, I will compete. Did you get that? Because I don't know if I can do it again. Yeah. <laughs>